Well, thank you for joining me as I explore Zoho meeting. Um, this is actually what I am using right now to record this tutorial. I am using Zoho meeting. Um, it is not just for meetings. It also records and you can download the file and edit the file and do whatever it is that you'd like to do to it. But just to let you know, we are right now in exploring Zoho meeting, which is a meeting that I had, you know, set in order to make sure that the meeting would actually have a title. Um, let's just start here on the home screen. Uh, you'll always see a banner up top of any training that Zoho has going on. You can X out of that, <clears throat> but from time to time when you log in, if they have new training available, you will see a banner at the top. Um, here's where you can go in and create an immediate meeting, schedule a meeting, or schedule a webinar. The difference between the, the meeting and the webinar is basically that this is a meeting you can invite participants and then you can screen share and then you can do audio and or video conferencing. With the webinar, you're doing more of a presentation. You're pre presenting your screen, you have audio, you can do a webcam, and then you can have people register for that event. Um, you can also invite people to the event as well. Here, under my meetings, it will show you all of the upcoming meetings or current meetings as well as past meetings. And with those, you can go in and do an edit. You can embed the um, meeting or the video clip somewhere. And then you can also use this button here to start the next meeting or an upcoming meeting. All right. Under webinars, same thing, upcoming webinars, past webinars, and analytics around those. Now, let's just take a look at what this looks like. I'm gonna do a test webinar. We're gonna set it up for New Year's Eve. <laughs> and we're going to Make it with a duration of 30 minutes central time and it's only going to be once obviously you can set webinars up to repeat daily weekly monthly and there you go you have a webinar that's scheduled this is where you can add it to your calendar and then here is the link that you can give to others you can also promote it within Zoho campaigns. You can take the code and you can embed it on your website. Just to give an example of that, I think I may have one that's check out the online learning page on successfulsolutions.com, which is our website. And I did not type it in properly, so let's find out what it is. Here we go. It's training. <laughs> okay, so <clears throat> if you scroll to the bottom here, actually, you can, yeah. So any past webinars, presentations that I have embedded on the on the website, you'll see them here, and it'll say that the session has ended. Anything that's upcoming, you would see a little snapshot of that webinar or meeting and then the ability to register. So that's basically what I wanted you to see. Here is where you can automatically approve people who register for your webinar and it'll give you the count of registrations and you can manage them like approve or disapprove. And then you have some emails that you can customize and configure. You can do reminders, thank yous, follow-ups, and then the confirmation for registration. You can enable or disable them and then make sure you set your reply to email address if it's different than the one that's set up with your Zoho account. You can display the attendee list to everyone and then you can do Q&A. Now, you can create a poll as well, a poll is basically something you can set beforehand and ask a question 
and then allow them to answer. Right. So whenever the webinar begin, you can, you know, present the poll at, at some point during your webinar. This is where all of the recordings will be. So if you have recorded a webinar or a meeting, you can go back and play. You can share it and then you can download it. Here are your settings where you can go in and change your time zone, language, reminders. You can add it to your Google Calendar as well. Your organization, once that's set up, then um, your attendees can see you know, some of the information whenever they sign up and register. Okay, this is for within your organization, however many licenses have uh, Zoho Meeting and then how many meetings and webinars have been used. Right now there's a limit because I'm using a trial, but in Zoho One, I believe it's unlimited, if I'm not mistaken. And organization email addresses, if you have additional email addresses that you'd like the system to be able to use, you'd add those here. And then you have uh, the option of integrating. Right now I have Zoho Bookings, um, um, integrated with Zoho Meeting so that if someone goes onto my calendar and they book a free consultation, then it will automatically create a Zoho Meeting and then send, send them the confirmation, send me a confirmation. I can make changes to it from my Zoho calendar and um, it will automatically start in, you know, Zoho Meeting whenever it's time. So that's really convenient. You can also integrate with the CRM so that when you're in the CRM, you can click a button to hold a meeting. So that's what that will do. And then the same thing with Zoho campaigns. All right, so let's go back and let's start our webinar so that you can get a look and see how that works. I don't know if it'll let me do it at the same time as this meeting, but we're about to find out. All right, this is where you can choose whether you're gonna use phone or computer. And this goes for each person that logs in. Obviously they have to choose it for themselves. We are going to choose phone because we're already using computer audio for this meeting. Then it will give them two dial-in numbers and an access code. Uh, I don't know for sure if it also gives the, the um, attendees the pin, but then you'll start the webinar. You'll be able to see the attendees here you can start sharing your screen here. Then you've got your Q&A. When you're ready to do your poll, you can start your poll. Whenever you do this, everyone will see this on their screen. They'll have the ability to choose an answer and then submit. And you can show those results to everyone or you can not, you know, just keep them for yourself. This is where you record you can switch to full screen and then you can turn your camera on or off and then you know obviously switch your audio from you know one or the other from computer to phone or phone to, to computer here's where you can you know conserve your bandwidth if you if you need to do that but yes that is basically it zoho meetings pretty flexible um it's gotten a lot better over time uh it used to you know not work as well. It had, uh, you know, like the quality wasn't as good as it is now, but now you can see it's pretty good. I'm doing actual recordings or tutorials with it. So it's, it's, it's come a long way. If you have any questions about Zoho Meeting or anything else within Zoho, if you need help with your Zoho as far as customizing it, always feel free to, to reach out to us. You can chat with us online, you can give us a call, or you can send an email. Um, whichever you, you choose, we're here to help.